Boss Fight Books is the name of an LA-based book publisher. Back in 2013, they successfully kickstarted the first season of the Boss Fight Books, in which they explain, Each of our books will take a critical, creative, historical, and personal look at a single classic video game. Some books will be about the history of the game's creation, some will focus on particular elements like level design, story, and music, some will investigate the subculture that has formed around a game, some will bring in outside art, science, and media, some will have a strong autobiographical element. Many books will be a combination of all of these things. So far, there have been three seasons kickstarted, a season being comprised of six books. In season one, 1,349 backers pledged $45,429 to bring the project to life. Season two brought 1,228 backers pledging $53,186 to bring the project to life. And in season three, 908 backers pledged $36,070 to help bring the project to life. Earlier this year at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, they had a small booth set up where they were selling some of the books at a discounted price. This is where I was introduced to them. I hadn't heard of them and I liked the concept, so I picked up two books, Galaga and Spelunky. On their website, you can pick up individual paperbacks for $14.95 or eBooks for $4.95. The books are also available for purchase on Amazon.com. The website offers up the first 12 books for $59.95 in an ebook format, or $179.95 in a paperback format. They also offer deep discounts up to 30% on quite a few assorted books if you select the discount option. The Galaga book was written by world-renowned author Michael Kimball. He cleverly broke the book into 255 stages, mimicking the number of levels in the game. I would actually prefer to call them factoid since most of them fit into that category. The book may not be for everyone for a couple of reasons. This is not your typical style of book. Like I said, it's broken up into a number of mini snippets of information, each one telling its own little story and not necessarily in any specific order. He does sprinkle in some personal information such as how he had an abusive father, etc. This may be a turnoff for some, but I thought it added something. There were also a couple of false or fake factoids thrown in, which I gather he did because he was running short of the goal of 255 stages. On the positive side, he did manage to throw in a whole lot of information pertaining to the game and I actually quite enjoyed the format as well as his personal stories. He told stories of growing up playing Galaga at many different locations, including the arcade at the local mall. He told stories of friends gained and lost, all the while maintaining the Galaga theme throughout. He threw in a lot of pop culture references regarding Galaga. The book is a quick read, maybe two hours max. There was enough content to keep me interested the whole way through. I would add, it helps a whole lot if you're familiar with the game. So check it out over at bossfightbooks.com and reserve your copy today.